you're at home, you've factored in everything. You've factored in sort of how long it's going to take you to drive there, how long you're going to be there, where you're going to go next. You've factored in any weed killer costs, um, waste removal costs, and you've come up with uh, a figure for each visit. Um, and I'm just throwing numbers in the air here. This is not what I would charge, it's just a number to work with. So let's say you quote the customer £65 per visit, which is fortnightly, to do lawns, beds, borders, hedges, the lot. Okay, £65 per visit, and let's say that works out at 20 visits per year. Um, that's going to give you a total of uh, £1,300. You've added on to that what you think your waste charges are going to be, say 50 quid weed killer, say you want to charge them 25 quid for weed killer, and imagine you come up with a final price of 1375 for the year, and that's what you're going to present them. Now, depending on how you feel about the customer, you can either do that as um, a fixed price, 65 per visit, and you invoice them at the end of every month for whatever that costs. You can do it like that. Or what you can do, if you feel comfortable, and they feel comfortable, is to get them to set up a standing order for you and break that whole figure down into 12 monthly payments. So total figure, 1375. If you break that down into 12 monthly payments, it works out at 114 58 per month. They set up that standing order and that works out for the year. You then don't have to worry about invoicing them every month. And in those December, January, February months, when you're not visiting the garden, you're still getting um, money coming in from them because they're spreading their cost of their maintenance right the way through the year, as opposed to just uh, the busy months. So. Often that's good for you and good for them if you feel comfortable in, in going into that sort of agreement with them. So that, that's kind of a snapshot of, of how, you can, how you can get into fixed pricing and getting away from hourly rate. Because then you'll be turning up at their property, you'll be doing the work. On some visits, you might only be there for an hour and you're walking away with a £65 visit charge. And you've made it clear to them at the start that some visits are longer, some visits are shorter. Um, but you can really make much, much, much better money um, when you've got small, predictable gardens. The main reason you will find that these maintenance uh, fixed price thing goes wrong is if you're not clear at the start. And when you write out your price, you've got to be clear what is included and what isn't. Your price is to maintain the existing garden as it is. So if you if you rock up one week and they bought some trellis and they ask you, can you put this bit of trellis up for me? That's not maintenance. That's an additional thing. So you would charge them extra for that. You would give them a quote for that. If you turn up one week and they've got, they've bought a plant from the nursery and they say, would you mind putting this plant in? You know, it's one plant. It's going to take, you know, two minutes to put it in. So you haven't got to be too anal about things. But if you turn up and they've got trays of bedding plants and they want you to change over the spring bedding to summer bedding in all their pots then you're not going to be doing that because they haven't asked you to do that when you've had that initial conversation if in your initial meeting you said hey do you want me to supply you with spring and summer bedding and change that over for you and they say yes great include it in the quote excellent but if it's not in there then you don't do it if you turn up and there's a tree down 
or they decide that they want a big shrub dug out that's outside of, of the basic maintenance which you're quoting for. And I think as long as you make that clear at the start, then generally things are fine. When I've messed up in the past on these is when I haven't been clear. And they've asked me to do something extra, which is not part of it, but I've been too afraid to say no, have gone along and done it and then got pissed off because I've been there for a lot longer doing jobs that I know is not part of the quote. And it's been my problem because I've been too afraid to say no. But as long as you're clear at the start, fixed prices can really work. Absolutely. So give it a go. I would say try it out on a small garden that's predictable where there's not so much risk if you get it wrong and you can gradually increase it to larger and larger properties as you go along. And if you don't like it, don't do it. But it's, um, it's worked for me.